Evolution of Mantis In the first movie of the Kung Fu Panda franchise, Mantis makes his first appearance in the training courtyard with Master Shifu and the rest of his team. He is voiced by Seth Rogen in the movies and shorts. He then later participated in the Dragon Warrior Tournament, where, along with the others, he was astonished when a panda named Po landed right in front of them. He was even more astonished when Ogwe proclaimed Po the Dragon Warrior. At first, Mantis wasn't impressed when meeting Po and was particularly unamused by a comment about his small size, but after seeing how tenacious the panda was in his training, Mantis was actually the first of the five to develop acceptance and liking of Poe as a person. He even tried to treat Poe with acupuncture after his first day of training, but was less than successful. When Mantis and the others finally locate Tai Lung on the thread of hope just outside the valley, a long battle ensues. Mantis assisted by using his incredible strength to hold up the falling bridge while the other four and Tai Lung continued to battle. In the short, Secrets of the Furious Five, Po told his kung fu class of rabbit children how Mantis was impatient when he was younger. Mantis felt that the world was too slow for him, and he was too fast for the world. However, on a mission to retrieve wool coats from a gang of crocodile bandits, he was captured due to his overconfidence and lack of listening skills when one of the villagers tried to warn him of the bandits' traps. Mantis was locked in a cage for days and forced to sit and wait for something to happen, and he entered a trance that allowed him to survey the world, moving faster than he did. As a result, he was able to gain the patience necessary to come up with a strategy for getting out of his cage by pretending to be dead and overwhelming the crocodiles. In the short special Kung Fu Panda Holiday, when Po asked the Furious Five for help in preparing for the winter feast at the Jade Palace, like the rest of his comrades, Mantis used Kung Fu to set up the dinner, making use of his pinwheel attack in arranging plates for the feast. When all the tasks were done, Mantis was present with all the other Kung Fu masters for the winter feast, but Po ended up excusing himself from the event, explaining his own family traditions, and he left to go to the noodle shop to be with his father on the holiday. The five later joined Po, as did the other masters from the palace, and Mantis took part in the festivities, having a bowl of noodle soup and making a rabbit child laugh with a game of peekaboo. In the sequel to the first movie, Mantis and the rest of the Furious Five were called to fight off wolf bandits attacking an artisan village. Mantis carried around a lucan playing bunny sitting on a stone, knocking out wolves, before quickly slicing apart the dual swords of another wolf. Mantis then leaped to Poe's defense by kicking a number of metal pans to deflect a number of arrows fired at him. Later, while traveling by sea, everyone overheard Poe and Tigress talking, which Viper interpreted as Poe having daddy issues. Mantis wistfully commented that he never got to know his father because his mother ate his father's head before he was born. Mantis was also instrumental in Poe's first plan to stop Lord Shen. While the rest of the group was chained and brought into the Peacock's Tower, Mantis was put into a cage while Poe replaced him with his wooden action figure. The real Mantis entered the tower undetected and was able to save his friends from Shen's cannon by snuffing out the fuse each time Boss Wolf lit it. Poe and the rest of the five were then able to free themselves. Tigress and Mantis then dislodged the cannon and knocked it down to the bottom of the tower. In the end of the movie, Shen soon also captured the five and bound them in chains, planning on executing them once his ships reached the harbor to conquer China. Mantis sighed, feeling he and the others were doomed, and saying he had expected to settle down with a nice girl someday who would later eat his head. Then out of nowhere, Poe appeared, having survived, and he freed the five. In the short Secrets of the Masters, Mantis, along with Tigress and Poe, uncover the legends of three of Kung Fu's greatest heroes, Master Thundering Rhino, Master Storming Ox, and Master Croc. In the animated television comedy series Legends of Awesomeness, Mantis appears voiced by Max Koch. While Monkey is stated to be Poe's best friend, in many ways Mantis is also shown to get along well with Poe. Hanging out with Poe more often than most of the Furious Five, and acting as a brother figure to Poe to ensure he doesn't put himself in danger. Poe, in turn, looks up to Mantis and enjoys his company, often hanging out with him and trying to help him. In the episode, Sticky Situation, Mantis was depressed about his girlfriend dumping him because she turned from a caterpillar into a butterfly, and Poe tried to comfort him throughout the episode. In the episode, Hometown Hero, Mantis received an urgent letter from his ex-fiancee, Hao Ming, and decided to depart for his home village to help her.
However, he refused to allow his friends to come along. Shifu decided to send Po to secretly keep an eye on Mantis in case anything went wrong. However, Mantis soon discovered Po and demanded that he return to the Jade Palace, but Po convinced him otherwise. Mantis then tried to inform Po of the reasons for his secrecy, that his fiancé left him at the altar before they were to be married, and that in order to get back to her, he told her and his hometown that he was the Dragon Warrior. In the short, Secrets of the Scroll, Mantis apparently decided to try being a doctor and soon found himself with his first patient, Master Shifu, who was suffering from food poisoning. Due to his inexperience, Mantis failed to improve Shifu's condition, but soon found himself called upon for an entirely different task helping Shifu's student Tigress, ex-janitor Crane, ribbon dancer Viper, and would-be comedian Monkey face the menace of Boar. Despite Shifu's lack of confidence in the newly formed team, the future Furious Five were able to put their unique talents to work and overcome Boar, leading Shifu to accept them all as his students. In the third movie of Kung Fu Panda franchise, Mantis first appears in the opening scene, where he and the other members of the Furious Five run alongside Po where they go to Mr. Ping's noodle shop and order food. When they return to the training hall, Shifu informs the five that Po will be their new teacher. And after a moment of initial shock, Mantis and the others quickly bow in respect to their new master. When Po shows apprehension about teaching the five, Mantis reassures him that it won't be so bad. Immediately afterwards, Mantis is seen desperately clinging onto a swinging spiked club and falling to the floor. Moments later, he is seen chuckling to himself when Crane flies into Viper only to have Crane fall on top of him. After Poe leaves the valley, Mantis' cheeky comments result in him being partnered with Crane to locate the whereabouts of Kai. As they travel across the tavern riverbed, they see Master's Bear, Croc, and Chicken running towards the ruins of an old ship where Kai is residing. The three Masters are quick to attack but soon encounter trouble. Mantis insists that he and Crane need to help them. However, both end up as Kai's Jade soldiers. Later on, Mantis and Crane are used to help Kai destroy the Jade Palace. Monkey tries to get through to Mantis by reminding him that they are friends, but to no avail. In the final battle at the Panda Village, Mantis is called to fight on Kai's behalf a second time. When Poe defeats Kai in the Spirit Realm, he and the others are freed. In the 2022 Disney movie Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Mantis, along with Bob and Pumbaa, appear to be commenting on how Bob the Dwarf's eyes look weird. In the fourth movie of the Kung Fu Panda franchise, Mantis and other members of the Furious Five have a diminished role. Seth Rogen reprises the role of Mantis yet again.